black text is from the old comp plan and the blue is are from the community vision workshops. Mm -hmm. So we just wanted to incorporate them into the plan. We consolidated them somewhat and eliminated duplicates. So we just need to go through the community owners and uh, see which issues still think apply. Same with the opportunities. There are more copies here. Yeah. More copies here if anyone needs. Just a thinking of thought in my head, the first and third one seem redundant. Mm -hmm. Page 12. Okay. Under issues. Under issues. So the poor awareness and lack of information and the gap in the provision of health services due to lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Sounds sort of similar, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, Okay, so you think those should be combined into one? Yeah, either combine them or do a way with the first one. The third one seems to flesh it out in a little bit more detail. Okay. So the third one doesn't say safety. What you could add? Right, so we could add that. Yeah, I just think some of the, these comments are, uh, to me, pretty raw. Uh -huh. If they're going to make it yeah. into a document like this, they need to be refined. Sure. So, um, something like lack of marketing for existing health and safety programs mm -hmm. kind of help us both of those, but I mean, that, that can really be said for, for some of these comments is they're kind of raw public comments and they need to be refined if they're going to make it into the plan. Um, sure. Okay. Lack of marketing for existing health and safety programs, that would probably uh, cover both of those. Everyone agree? Number eight one, uh -huh. I think it is proper to list specific business names. Oh, yes, it's, uh, you don't want to point fingers too much at it. Finish um, up with the word industries. <laughs> um, you talking about the one where they're talking about dumping ground? For yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh, the low walkability score. Um, that's um, there's a site called Walk Walk Score that um, that scores communities and has maps, and so that should probably be made, made clear um, by putting the link in there. It's Walk Score. Other than the issue about comfort foods, I don't see anything particularly about the issue that's mm -hmm. the issue that we have um, with so many folks who are uh, not getting enough food. We have a we've had an off and on Meals on Wheels program. We have folks who do not get access to food. We've had an off and on senior feeding program, which has come and gone depending on who was paying for that. Um, we have an opportunity with the food bank here that could that could absolutely handle that because they have got the kitchen, they've got the equipment, they're feeding 3,000 kids a day. Um, but I think we don't talk a lot about you know folks who are just you know indigent in their homes, unable to have someone come, no transportation to get out, and they're not getting good nutrition, which contributes to their real health. Jane, you think that's more? You say that, but is it more senior? No, I don't think it's just seniors at all, but seniors seniors are a, you know, unfortunately with being low income, they live in areas where they're not even, you know, they're in a food desert, they're not in a place they can get good food, they're not, you know, they might be able to go to a, a corner store or something. Okay. Uh, it's not it's not at all, but we, are, we tend to have programs at the federal level that are more focused on children. We do summer feeding programs and there are people doing, you know, lunch for the weekend kind of things and backpacks for children, but... Uh, you know, we're really not doing, uh, you know, for a while we only had a, a feeding program uh, for seniors that was feeding about eight or ten people because that's all we could get there and we weren't mm -hmm. going to get them. You know, there are people that could use it but no transportation was provided. So uh, I think it's just been back and forth. Uh, there are a number of uh, food kitchens, I mean, of uh, food pantries here, but the only person who's keeping up with those is the food bank. And they can get you a list, but I can guarantee you, if you look at that list, it can be wrong the next day. Because a kitchen, a, a church may quit, a church may lose funding. Uh, we had the LAC program, that's gone out of business. We've got, you know, LAMP used to do that. LAMP is only doing a shelter now. Um, so all of that comes and goes, and there's really no central place. Uh, now that we don't have 211, we have the, we have the social services database.com, which you may not be aware of. It's got a lot of information on it, but... Even and they keep the list of the current food banks, but where do people find that? You know, if you don't have a computer, as many people don't, um, how do you even know what food pantries are? Do you know that you know First Baptist is doing it on Tuesdays and Saturdays? How do you know that you know different things like that? So we have a it's a combination of we just talked about a lack of marketing with health services. We don't really have any way for people to get that information, um, even when there are services available. How would you phrase a short version of that? Short version of that is we need information to access about food resources. I, um, what I had, uh, I'll read what I uh, jotted down, uh, and, and the new issue would be something like lack of access to and marketing of healthy food options for the indigent, indigent and for those lacking transportation. That, That's good. Yeah, That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. And then... Um, I jotted down the food bank as an opportunity which could provide um, more services to the uh, indigent and those lacking transportation. And also uh, socialservicesdatabase.com. Is, is that a local thing? Or it is. It is. So that, that could be listed as an opportunity. It is, it is run by a woman who lives in, in uh, habitat housing and there is no income connected to it. She does it just because she feels like it needs to be done. So. That's great. Now I mean, that we don't have 211 and we don't seem to have any future of having 211 and we're the only region in the state that doesn't have it, um, people here are kind of in a you know, shortfall about getting information about what's out there unless they just know somebody to ask. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes, sir. Do we need more products or do we need more advertising? 
I think there are a couple of answers to that. We need more programs to be able to feed people, to get food to people, but, but we also need a way for people to know what's even out there. If they don't there. know that the, project, that the product exists, Correct. then uh, they're still not feeding. Correct. And if there was something like a regular senior feeding program, I think word of mouth would get that because that would be regular. The problem with even soup kitchens, and not soup kitchens, but like churches doing something is they simply don't have the capacity to continue. They may go on for a while and they may do it as a short thing and then they get a new preacher or they get a new chair, board chair or they go on to another project. Um, and, you know, I think bottom line, it's not necessarily the, the you know, mandate of the church is to feed people. Uh, we've got people in our community who are, you mentioned down here the issue with diabetes and so forth. I serve on the board of the uh, Partnership Health Clinic and uh, they've made a huge dent in the diabetes issue here, but they can only serve people who have income, who have a job. So we've still got a huge hump of people who, you know, for whom that service is simply not available. We have, we have no dental service for people with no income, and we have no diabetes care and that sort of thing. Unfortunately, the health department used to have a great uh, heart and diabetes program. That funding has gone away. So there are just a lot of things impacting what used to be probably a little bit better situation. Um, and some of us have just gone by the by, by, the by because... Nobody fusses when they go away. But could we possibly start with some public service announcements and phone numbers? Uh, public service is one thing. It's, it's very difficult to get information about social services out of this community. I have put out a community calendar for about 10 years, mm -hmm. and it goes to a lot of people, and it goes on base, and it goes to a lot of places, but... You know, every week somebody says to me, I know you were doing that. And those are folks who are in social services. They're not even folks out in the community. You know, to get information out of this community, especially in the low-income community, you need to be in the barbershops. You need to be in the churches. You need to be where people are uh, because they're not reading the paper. Nothing gets the paper, but it's, it's you know, readership is not high. <laughs> and, you know, folks who don't have any money are not buying the paper. So... Um, I always go back to, you know, I wish the United Way were interested in doing 211 again. It's a federal, it's a national program of, of uh, United Way, and, and uh, we have none in the 16 county area from here to Waycross. And, that, and for those of you who don't understand 211, it's actually the number you call. You dial the number 211, someone answers the phone, and you say, I need to know a place to, to get food. I need to know a place to get immunizations for my children. I need to know what to do if I have a child with Down syndrome. I need to know what to do if I need help with housing. I need to know how to get, you know, low-income housing, as we were talking about in the last meeting. Um, they're just, there's not a place anybody can call here that covers all of that. Uh, what the uh, self could be a listing on I, I was yeah, going to say, one, one. <laughs> uh, maybe an, a new issue that would cover it would be lack of a centralized information resource uh, for, for people needing help with food. Social service needs, uh -huh. yeah. Lack of informational resources. I would yeah, lack of information resources. Ms. Jane, do they also coordinate, you know, volunteer opportunities, or is that not a two one one function? Um, two one one functions in a lot of different ways. The first one was in Atlanta 25 years ago, and they have everything. Uh, you can call and find out where there are there are local local volunteer, you know groups that need. There is, a, there is a Facebook group now that's trying to locate, you know, tell people what kind of volunteer opportunities are out there. The problem with volunteers, and I, you know, I ran Big Brothers Big Sisters years ago, people don't have time. You know, people are working. People are working more than they used to, and to find somebody who can give the time to do really, you know, quality volunteer work for long periods of time is, is very difficult. And that's nothing against the people. They're people who want to do it. Where, uh, oops, go ahead. Yes, sir. I was just, I, I'm stuck on this distribution of this information. Uh -huh. And I would say that if we had some, some flyers, there are groups, there's uh, BFWs, there's all kinds of groups that I think would take a portion of these flyers and distribute them that would make sure they got into the hair salon, the beauty shop, or, or the barbershop. And they would get into the communities 
to the people that need them. Absolutely. That's a, and it's an excellent we, start. Part of the issue, and I will caution you to begin with, is updating. Keeping them, keeping them current is hard, and if somebody goes to all the trouble to go to X, Y, and Z church on Tuesday afternoon and they think a pantry is open and it's not open, that's a waste of their resources. So that's a problem. To not, not putting down what you're saying, but I have tried for years to get information out of the community and keep it current, and I can just tell you it's extraordinarily difficult. In the interest of uh, moving things along, if I may, uh, do we have any more discussion of the community wellness issues before we move on to looking at the opportunities? Yes. Um, the second to the last bullet point, I'm not sure entirely what that's trying to say. If it's trying to say the local rivers are just hazards, I don't think that's really <laughs> accurate. Could we, sure we, Maybe we should that down. Well, perhaps we could uh, rephrase it as education of residents regarding the recreational opportunities of the local rivers and safety issues. Somebody mentioned pamphlets or flyers. Many of you have seen this, but some of you may not. We just reprinted 5,000 of these thanks to the Hamilton County, Florida Tourist Development Center. Uh, by we, I mean Walt Watershed Coalition. And we're working on one for the Withacoochee and the Alapaha. And thanks to the Valdosta Lounge Tourism Authority for 500 towards that. Um, so my suggestion is to rephrase that somewhat as education of residents regarding recreational opportunities on local rivers and safety on them. Not being incorporated into the statement. It could be. Water trails as well as hiking trails. And that goes on the next one too, John. Public access, public fishing access and exercise trails on the next page. I know. Yep. He was asking about this particular right. area. Yeah, when you get to opportunities, there's some related things. Is everyone ready to look at the opportunities? Ariel, I had one more come up um, sure. with the conversation with um, the school system and, and I think it's right now it's just a perceived issue mm -hmm. um, but maybe with those at this table they could help if it's factual or not but th there was a high amount in this community of teenage pregnancy mm -hmm. it's actually down from what it used to be okay and I, that's why I say perceived because the person I talked to seemed very intent that it was an issue but I did not see any statistics to back it up there's some, there's some excellent statistics out there at the state level that show you that this county and Lanier County are actually doing better than they used to. Okay, good. Still room for improvement, though, right? <laughs> as long as there's one, there's room for improvement. <laughs> That's all I have, sir. Let me ask you whether this goes in this category or maybe somewhere else. It used to be that there was that Mathis Auditorium and a couple of other places were used as cold shelters on nights when we had freezing temperatures. That's no longer being done, and I talked to, um, I already can't think of his name, the gentleman at the county who does emergency. Ashley. Ashley. Ashley Ty. And there is, the Salvation Army will take folks in, and there is a church uh, down on Hills, Hill Avenue that will take people in, the uh, race. But the downtown church that was there, the Mission Church, is gone. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lamp Shelter will also mm -hmm. take people in. But that is very minimal. There's not, again, publicity. How does somebody who's homeless know where there's a place they can go and stay for the night that's, you know, that's not freezing. Um, and I know in the past there was a partnership with Red Cross. That's no longer available. So it's just, it's just a something down the road. You know, we don't have a lot of cold nights, but if you're living out, you know, in the woods, as we have, you know, a couple of 300 people in this community living out in the woods, and we're fixing to do a count of the, uh, of the homeless veterans just to, to make sure we're clear on that. Um, there are a lot of people who could come in. You might even need transportation to get them because if they're living in the woods, they probably can't walk to anything downtown. Uh, but we do get we do get a number of cold nights when we certainly encourage plants and pets to come in. So we think it might be useful if we could find a place for people to. Carol, I know we have a uh, category called community facilities and services. Mm -hmm. It's probably that appropriate. That may be exactly where that goes. Okay. Yeah. Um, Good. I think that's come up in other places. I just think that's probably that's the, 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 good, the good place to put it. It can impact your wellness, period. <laughs> it's true. Um, 